Welcome to Automation Academy. Question number one. What type of signal is the 0 to 10 volts or 4 to 20 milliampers? A. Analog signal. B. Digital signal. C. Discrete signal. D. None of the above. Answer A. Analog signal. The electrolyte in a battery is measured in terms of what? A. Electrolytes. B. Specific gravity. C. Gravity. D. None of the above. Answer B. Specific gravity. This device used to measure insulation resistance of electric motor. A. Multimeter. B. Mager. C. Ometer. D. None of the above. Answer B. Meager. A device used to pull wires through a conduit is called A. Puller. B. Meager. C. Face tape. D. None of the above. Answer C. Face tape. A power factor is equal to A. Apparent power. B. True power. C. True power divided by apparent power. D. None of the above. Answer C. True power divided by apparent power. The output voltage of a transformer is measured in A. Volt ampere. B. Kilowatts. C. Apparent power. D. None of the above. Answer Volt ampere. Frequency is measured in A. Revolution per minute B. Hertz C. Power D. None of the above Answer B. Hertz Illumination is measured in A. Foot candle B. Light C. Brightness D. None of the above Answer A. Foot candles. In order to change the rotation of a three phase motor, A. Reverse the direction, B. Reverse all the connection, C. Interchange any two of the three wires, D. None of the above. Answer C. Interchange any of the two of the three wires. For a DC motor that is connected in series, to change the rotation, a. F1 and F2 must be reversed. B. It will reverse itself. C. Reverse the direction. D. None of the above. Answer A. F1 and F2 must be reversed. What is the other term of flux? A. Magnetic induction. B. Magnetic line of force. C. Electron flow. D. None of the above. Answer B. Magnetic line of force. What is the name of the rotating part of a DC motor? A. Stator. B. Armature. C. Electric field. D. None of the above. Answer B. Armature. And this is the comparison of DC motor and AC motor. For DC motor, rotating part armature. And stationary part field windings, and for AC motor, rotating part, rotor, and the stationary part, stator. Next, the resistance of a short circuit is A. 10 ohms B. 0 C. Open D. None of the above Answer B. 0 How a generator produces voltage? A. Electromotive force B. Increasing capacity C. By cutting the line of force D. None of the above Answer C. By cutting the line of force If you want to increase current capacity of a battery cells A. Connect it in parallel B. Connect it in series 
C. Series parallel. D. None of the above. Answer A. Connect it in parallel. What a capacitor store is? A. Power. B. Current. C. Charge. D. None of the above. Answer C. Charge. When you are going to measure a non voltage with a mole meter, A. Set to 230 volts capacity. B. Set the range first to the highest voltage. C. Set the voltage. D. None of the above. Answer B. Set the range first to the highest voltage. A machine used to convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. A. Electric motor. B. Capacitor bank. C. Generator. D. None of the above. Answer C. Generator. How a capacitor perform in the circuit? A. Opposes any change in current. B. Opposes any change in voltage. C. Opposes any change in resistance. D. None of the above. Answer B. Opposes any change in voltage. A machine used to convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. A. Generator. B. Electric motor. C. Alternator. D. None of the above. Answer B. Electric motor. A what matter gets what? A. Real power. B. Apparent power. C. Factor. D. None of the above. Answer A. Real power. Device that reverses the magnetic field polarity to keep a DC motor rotating. A. Brass. B. Apparent power. C. Commutator. D. None of the above. Answer C. Commutator. The absorbed heat in a resistor is measured in A. Watts. B. Charge. C. Current. D. None of the above. Answer A. Watts. What is the resistance of an open circuit? A. Infinity. B. Close. C. Short. D. None of the above. Answer A. Infinity. What is the purpose of fuse in a circuit? A. Protection against short circuit. B. Close and open the circuit. C. Over protection. D. None of the above. Answer A. Protection against short circuit. Which medium is incompressible, hydraulic or pneumatic? Answer, hydraulic. What is meant by I.O. card on the PLC or programmable logic controller? Answer, input-output card. The analog input and output signal, discrete or continuous signal? Answer, continuous signal. What is the action taken to repair equipment that has failed or down? Answer, corrective maintenance. What is mean by SPDT and DSPT switch? Answer, SPDT, single pole double through. DPST, double pole single through. What is the reason why we use flux during soldering? Answer, to prevent metal oxidation. We use blank caliper for finding sharp center. Answer, Werner caliper. Answer, seat screw. Reduced friction is the primary reason for. Answer, lubrication. What is NPT stands for? Answer, national pipe thread. Steam up is used to discharge. Answer, condensation. The 40 B12 bracket, how many teeth? Answer, 12. When measuring screw pits, which tool do you use? Answer, trade gauge. AD current causes, 
Answer, increase in core loss. When you are going to troubleshoot a defective machine, you should A. Turn on the breaker that was stripped immediately. B. Talk and inquire the operator of what happened first. C. Reset the overload relay. D. All of the above. Answer B. A device which is used to remove rough edges of conduit is called A. Grinder. B. Reamer. C. Pile. Answer Reamer. B. A switch used in installation of one lamp controlled by two locations. A. Two-way switch. B. Three-way switch. C. One-way switch. D. All of the above. Answer. B. Three-way switch. The actual power consumption is expressed in A. KVA. B. Kilowatt. C. Amper hour. D. All of the above. Answer. B. Kilowatt. A small electronic component that can amplify electricity. A. Resistor. B. Diode. C. Amplifier. D. All of the above. Answer. C. Amplifier. What happens when current flow in a circuit is interrupted by a blown fuse? A. Closed circuit. B. Open circuit. D. All of the above. Answer. B. Open circuit. 18,000 watts is equivalent to A. 18 microwatt. B. 18 kilowatts. C. 18 megawatt. D. All of the above. Answer. B. 18 kilowatt. An electrical component used to make or break a contact in a circuit. A. Fuse. B. Breaker. C. Switch. D. All of the above. Answer. Switch. An electronic component used to convert alternating current to pulsating direct current. A. Rectifier. B. Transformer. C. Switch. D. All of the above. Answer. Rectifier. A magnetic pole such as positive and negative or north and south. A. Polarity. B. Breaker. C. Switch. D. All of the above. Answer. A. Polarity. An electrical and electronic instrument consisting of a voltmeter, ohmmeter, and ammeter. A. Multimeter. B. Breaker. C. Switch. D. All of the above. Answer. Multimeter. An instrument used to measure a potential difference across two points in a circuit. Answer. Voltmeter. What component used to limit the amount of voltage in a circuit? Answer. Voltage regulator. The stationary windings of an alternating current or AC motor. Answer. Stator. An electrical drawing showing wiring connections and components in a circuit. Answer. Wiring diagram. The rotating part of direct current or DC motor. Answer. Armature. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that every time I will upload a new video, you will be notified. And also, Check my other video like interview question and answer, hydraulic pneumatic, fanoc robotics, motor controls, and many more. 
What is a current flow in which electrons continuously and changes its magnitude and reverse its direction? Answer, alternating current. What part of electrical motor that used to create magnetism? Answer, magnetic field. What electronic component that allow current to flow in one direction and opposes in opposite direction? Answer, diode. A negatively charged particle that orbits an atom's nucleus. Answer, electron. A material made of atoms that allows electrons to flow. Example, aluminum and copper. Answer, conductor. What is the basic unit of an element consisting of proton, neutron, and electrons? Answer, atom. What is an undesirable path of electrical current flow in a circuit? Answer, short circuit. What is the unit of conductance? A, electron volt. B, newton per coulomb. C, Siemens. D, none of the above. Answer, C, Siemens. The unit of admittance, A, electron volt, B, resistance, C, Siemens, or synonyms unit mo, D, none of the above. Answer, C, Siemens, synonyms unit mo. What is the unit of length, A, micro? B. Mass. C. Matter. D. None of the above. Answer. Matter. What is the unit of time? A. Hour. B. Minute. D. Second. Answer. Second. What is the unit of resistivity? A. Current, B. Conductivity, C. Farad, D. Ometer. Answer, Ometer. What is the unit of conductance? A. Energy, B. Flux, C. Insulator, D. Siemens. Answer, Siemens. What is the unit of magnetic field? A. Tesla B. Electric field C. Resistive D. Charge Answer. Tesla What is the unit of energy? A. Joule B. Impedance C. Newton D. Tesla Answer, A, Joule. What is the unit of charge? A, Coulomb. B, Tesla. C, Induction. D, Capacitance. Answer, Coulomb. What is the unit of pressure? A, Tesla. B, Pascal. C, Weber, D, none of the above. Answer, B, Pascal. What is the unit of heat? A, calorie, B, Weber, C, Kelvin, D, Joule. Answer, D, Joule. What is the unit used the speed of motor or generator? A. Radian per minute. B. Degrees per rotation. C. Revolution per minute. D. None of the above. Answer. Revolution per minute. How many horsepower in 1000 watts? A. 0.746 horsepower. B. 1 horsepower. C. 1.34 horsepower, D. 1.5 horsepower. 
answer 1.34 horsepower. And here's the solution. We know that 1000 watt is equal to 1 kilowatt and 1 horsepower is equal to 746 watts. 1000 watt equals 1 horsepower is equal to 746 watts. We are going to cancel the watts. We are going to cancel the watts. Then 1000 divided by 746 is equal 1.34 horsepower. Next. 1 kilowatt is how many watts? Answer D. 1000 watts. 1 horsepower is how many watts? Answer 746 watts. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that every time I will upload a new video, you will be notified. And also, Check my other video like interview question and answer, hydraulic pneumatic, FANOC robotics, motor controls, and many more. Which of the following is the unit of frequency? A. Reactance B. Capacitance C. Weber D. Hertz Answer D. Hertz Which of the following is the unit of reactive power? A. Ampere B. Volt Ampere Reactive C. Volt D. None of the above Answer B. Volt Ampere Reactive Which of the following is the unit of force? A. Kilogram B. Joule C. Acceleration D. Newton Answer D. Newton What is the unit of capacitance? A. Watts B. Ampere hour C. Farad D. Volts Answer C. Farad What is the unit of magnetic flux? A. Farad B. Henry C. Weber D. Joules Answer C. Weber What is the unit of inductor? A. Farad B. Henry C. Ohms D. Joules Answer. Henry What is the unit of potential difference? A. Watts B. Ampere hour C. Ohms D. Volts Answer. D. Volts What is the unit of resistance? A. Watts B. Ampere C. Ohms D. Volts Answer. C. Ohms What is the unit of current? A. Watts B. Ampere C. Ohms D. Volts Answer. B. Ampere What is the unit of torque? A. Force B. Newton meter C. Voltage D. All of the above. Answer B. Newton meter. A capacitor performed in the circuit. Answer. Opposes any changes in voltage. How a generator produces voltage. Answer. By cutting the line of force. A power factor is equal to. Answer. True power divided by apparent power. Frequency is measured in Answer Hertz Illumination is measured in Answer Foot candles The output voltage of a transformer is measured in Answer Volt Ampere In order to change the rotation of a three phase motor Answer Interchange or reverse any two of the three wires For a DC motor that is connected in series, to change the rotation, answer, F1 and F2 must be reversed. The other term of flux, answer, magnetic line of force. 
the rotating part of a DC motor is known as armature. device used to pull wires through a conduit is called fistate. The resistance of a short circuit is zero. If you want to increase current capacity in a battery cell, you connect it in parallel. What a capacitor stores? Charge. When you are going to measure a known voltage with a multimeter, set the range first to the highest voltage. A machine used to convert mechanical energy into electrical energy, the generator. A machine used to convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. Answer, motor. If this is your first time here, Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that every time I will upload a new video, you will be notified. And also, check my other video like interview question and answer, hydraulic pneumatic, FANOC robotics, motor controls, and many more. A watt meter indicates what? Real power. A device that reverses the magnetic field polarity to keep a DC motor rotating, commutator. The electrolyte in a battery is measured in terms of what? Answer, specific gravity. The absorbed heat in a resistor is measured in? Answer, watts. What is the resistance of an open circuit? Answer, infinity. AD current causes increase in core loss. What type of maintenance when servicing equipment and replacing parts to prevent failure? Answer, preventive maintenance. Which device is used to measure insulation resistance? Answer, meager. What is the purpose of the fuse in a circuit? Answer, protection. What is the action taken to repair equipment that has failed or down? Answer, corrective maintenance. What is the reason why we use flux during soldering? Answer, to prevent metal oxidation. We use blank caliper for finding shop center. Answer, Berner caliper. What screw or bolt to prevent gear from slipping? Answer, sit screw. The gear blank is one gear is divided by the number of teeth with the other gear. Answer, gear ratio. You are measuring 480 volts in a three-phase system and the test pad on one line and the other test pad on the ground. How much voltage read on multimeter? Answer, 277 volts. What is low to mean in electrical safety? Answer, lockout tagout. What is mean by I.O. card on the PLC or programmable logic controller? Answer, input-output card. Which medium is incompressible, hydraulic or pneumatic? Answer, hydraulic. Reduced friction is the primary reason for lubrication. What is NPT stand for? Answer, National Pipe Thread. A steam trap is used to discharge. Answer, condensation. 
the analog input-output signals, discrete or continuous signal? Answer, continuous. What type of signal is the 4 to 20 milliampere? Answer, analog signal. The 40B12 sprocket, how many teeth? Answer, 12. When measuring screw pits, which tool do you use? Answer, thread gauge. What is meant by SPDT and DSPT switch? Answer, SPDT stands for single pole double through and DSPT stands for double pole single through. A water heater with a rate of 1,200 watts connected to a 120 volts power supply. What is the current? And number two, what is the resistance of the heater? To find the current of the heater, Ampers equals watts over voltage, or I equals P over E, equals 1,200 watts over 120 volts, our current is 10 amperes. And to find the resistance of the heater, ohms equals voltage over amperes, or R equals E over I, equals 120 volts over 10 amperes. Our resistance is 12 ohms. Now let's proceed to the next part of our discussion, the Ohm's Law pie chart. Now we can apply the 12 formula of the Ohm's Law pie chart. Let's start with the power in watts. Watts equals volts times amperes, or P equals volts times I, equals 120 volts times 10 amperes equals 1,200 watts. The next formula in power equals watts equals am squared times ohms, or P equals I squared times R equals 10 squared or 100 times 12. Our answer is 1,200 watts. The next formula of power is watts equals volt squared over ohms. Or P equals V squared over R equals 120 squared over 12 ohms equals 1,200 watts. The next topic is finding the resistance in ohms. Ohms equals volts over amps, or R equals V over I, equals 120 volts over 10 amps, equals 12 ohms. If this is your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that every time I will upload a new video, you will be notified. And also, check my other video like interview question and answer, hydraulic pneumatic, FANOC robotics, motor controls, and many more. The next formula in resistance is ohms equals watts over amps squared. R equals P over I squared. Equals 1,200 over 10 squared or 100 equals 12 ohms. The next topic in finding the formula of resistance in ohms, ohms equals volt squared times watts, or R equals V squared over P. 120 squared over 1,200 equals 4,400 divided by 1,200 equals 12 ohms. The next topic, finding the voltage in volts. Volts equals watts over amperes or V equals P over I equals 1,200 over 10 amps equals 120 volts. The next topic in finding voltage is volts equals amps times ohms or V equals I times R equals 10 times 12 equals 120 volts. The next topic is volts equals square root of watts times ohms equals square root of 1,200 times 12 ohms equals 120 volts. The next topic is finding the formula of current in amps. Amps equals volts over ohms or I equals V over R equals 120 volts over 12 ohms equals 10 amps. The next is amps over watts over volts or I equals P over R equals 10 amps. 
The next is amps equals square root of watts over ohms equals 10 amperes. Our topic for today is how to solve any series and parallel circuit. In this lesson, we'll first discuss the individual between series and parallel circuits using the most basic components, resistors and batteries, to show the difference between the two configurations. In series circuit, the current that flows through each of the components is the same, and the voltage across each circuit is the sum of individual voltage drop across each component. In parallel circuit, the voltage across each component is the same, and the total current is the sum of the currents flowing through each component. In sample problem number one, if we have two resistors that are connected in series, what is the equivalent resistance? Let's say 10 ohm resistor plus 10 ohm resistor. The equivalent resistance is 20. Just simply add the two resistors. In problem number two, we have two resistors connected in parallel. What is the equivalent resistance? Let's say that R1 and R2 are 4 ohms. Whenever you have two resistors connected in parallel, if they have the same value, the equivalent resistance is simply half of that value. So the equivalent resistance is 2. 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 and so on. And if we have two resistors connected in parallel, we have special formula. RT equals R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. Then just simply substitute the value of the resistor to get the value of equivalent resistance. If we have two resistors that are connected in parallel that has the same value, the equivalent resistance is simply half of the value. In the example, we have two 4 ohm resistors that are connected in parallel. Then the half is 2 ohms. Just the same on 6 ohms resistor, the half is 3. And on the next equations, if we have three resistors that are connected in parallel with the same value, just simply divide the value of the resistor to the total number of resistors. In the example, the value of resistor is 6 ohms, and the total number of resistors are 3. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. This is the same if you have 4, 5, or 10 resistors that are connected in parallel. With the same value, just simply divide the value of resistor to the number of resistor. In this problem, since R1 and R2 have the same value of 6 ohms, just simply get the half of the value of 6 ohms. Then redraw the circuit, and if you have two resistors that are connected in parallel, we have a special formula for that. The product divided by the sum, then substitute the value, then substitute the value to get the equivalent resistance of 2.18 ohms. Here we have another example. Let's calculate the resistance. The R1 is 10 ohms, the R2 is 10 ohms, and the R3 is 15 ohms. You notice that the two resistors are connected in parallel. Then just simply get the half of it to have 5 ohms equivalent resistance. Then redraw the circuit and simplify. Add R3 which is 15 to have an equivalent resistance of 20 ohms. Our next example, it looks like it's hard to divide and concur. But to be honest with you, this is very simple with a little tricks and techniques. First, the three 9 ohms resistors are connected in parallel. In our previous example, if we have three resistors or more that are connected in parallel with the same value, just simply get the value of the resistor, then divide it with the total number of resistors, and the equivalent resistance is 3. Next, since the two 8 ohm resistors are the same value and connected in parallel, just simply get half of the value of 8 to get the equivalent resistance of 4 ohms. Then the circuit is now simplified series circuit, and in series circuit, the formula is RT equals R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4, and so on. Then substitute the value. After that, just simply add the individual resistor to get the equivalent resistance of 16 ohms. In this example, it's going to be harder, but by the technique of collapsing the circuit and then redraw to simplify, together we can do this. Let's start to attack resistor R9 and R10. Since these two resistors are connected in series, just simply add the value of resistor. R equivalent equals R9 plus R10, then substitute the value to the equivalent resistance of 30 ohms. Since the value of R9 and R10 is connected in parallel to R8, 30 ohms, and they are both the same value of 30 ohms, then simply get the half of the value, which is 15. Then, redraw the circuit to simplify. After you redraw the circuit, you are going to analyze again how to collapse. Since the R equivalent and R7 are connected in series, you can add it to resistor. But you cannot add R6 because there is branching on R5. 
Just add the R equivalent and R7 to get the value of 20. After you get the answer, collapse the circuit and redraw and analyze again. In this new redrawn circuit, the R620 ohms and R equivalent to 20 ohms are connected in parallel. Given that R6 and R equivalent has the same value, just get the half of it to get the equivalent resistance of 10 ohms. After that, collapse the circuit and redraw again. In this new circuit, the R4, R5, and R equivalent are connected in series. Given that they are connected in series, just simply add a 3 resistor, R4, R5, and R equivalent. Then substitute the value to have the equivalent resistance of 20 ohms. Collapse the circuit and redraw again to simplify. In the new redrawn circuit, R3 and R4 are connected in parallel with the same value. Just simply get the half of the value to have an equivalent resistance of 20 ohms. In the final circuit, the three resistors R1, R2, and R equivalent 5 are now simplified in a series circuit. Given that they are now in series, simply add the three resistors to get the value of 50 ohms. Back to the previous equation, find the total resistance and current. Given that our voltage is 60 volts, by using Ohm's law formula, I equals V over R, our voltage is 60 volts and total resistance is 50 ohms. The total current is 1.2 amperes. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.